I found this beautiful piece of walnut and I got a new tool. Let's build something. Today I will be working on an awesome but yet simple project. Most ottomans come with a tray so you can put drinks on top of it. Mine didn't. So instead of going with the plain old tray, I wanted to build a bench slash table I can just slide on top of it. Lass uns anfangen. Let's start by measuring out the pieces. The table will be custom made to fit my ottoman. I cut it to side pieces about an inch higher than the height of the ottoman. For both of the side pieces, cut a 45 degree angle on top and the bottom cut it off straight. The top piece I cut about an inch longer than the length of the ottoman. For the top piece, cut a 45 degree angle on each side. The edges of the wood pieces were a little rough. So I ran it over the jointer to make sure the edges are cleaned up and are 90 degree angles. Now it's time to test out my new tool, the Makita Plane Jointer PJ7000. I cut the grooves at a 45 degree angle. I will insert three biscuits on each side. The tool works as advertised, it's very easy to use. Just make sure the top plate touches the wood piece before you start cutting. After you're done cutting the grooves, insert the biscuits and dry fit the piece together to make sure everything fits. I have this beautiful natural crack in the wood. My plan is to clean it out and fill it in with resin. Take a chisel to clean out all the soft pieces. A vacuum cleaner is helpful too. Since the crack goes all the way through, I will have to tape off the bottom and the sides to contain the resin. Make sure to double layer the tape to make sure none of the resin leaks out. For the side to get a clean edge, I used a piece of cardboard and wrapped it into tuck tape. Then I glued a piece of cardboard with tuck tape to the board. Now it's time for the resin. And what would be any of my videos without my resin dance? Let's have fun mixing. Mix the resin truly for about two minutes. Now it's time to add some color to the resin. I picked the emerald green color from Let's Resin. Make sure the color is well combined with the resin and then let's start pouring it. I try to pour as slow as possible to avoid any air bubbles. Give the resin some time to slowly leak down and settle on the bottom. Make sure to overfill the resin a bit so once it settles down you still have enough on the surface. Take a torch to pop any bubbles. Check back about an hour later and pop any additional bubbles. I gave the resin about three days to cure. Now it's time to run all three pieces through the wood planer. If you don't have a wood planer, sanding will do. The wood planer just takes a lot of the work from you. Make sure you run all three pieces through the planer at the same thickness. And just in case you're wondering why I'm wearing ripped jeans, because they're old and comfy. Now it's time for a bit of sanding. Put on your protective gear, your dust mask and some glasses. I sanded a piece up to a 320 grid. The wood has a few natural cracks that I would like to fill in to smoothen out the surface. The best and quickest way to go about it is to use Starborn Instant Adhesive. It dries within 15 seconds and hides any imperfections in the wood. As you can tell, I'm a Starbond addict. I think I have most of the products they offer. Starbond comes in different colors. They have clear, brown, and black. They also offer their glues in different consistencies like thin, medium, and thick, and really anything in between. Today for my project, I will be using Starbond Medium, Thick, and Brown. It is really easy to use. Just fill in the crack with the glue, then use the accelerator, spray it on top, and let it dry for about 15 seconds. If needed, you can just apply a second coat on top of the first coat. And then again, spray the accelerator and let it dry for 15 seconds. Follow the same process for any additional cracks. After the steps, 
just sand down the piece. It's just that simple, and as you can see, it looks perfect. If you're working with walnut and you use the brown color, it does add a lot of character to the wood. The resin part needs a little bit of extra attention. I sanded it down to 600 grit. If the crack goes all the way through, make sure you sand down both sides. I'm using big clamps and tight bond 2 glue to glue the pieces together. Apply a thick but even layer of glue to both sides. The easiest way to spread the glue evenly is to use one of those rubber brushes. Stick the biscuits into the slots and then take the side piece and attach it with the top piece. Wiggle the piece around until it fits perfectly. Then place it into the clamp. Follow the same steps for the other side. Once the pieces are perfectly lined up, tighten the clamps. To get even pressure horizontal and vertically, attach multiple clamps. Now the clamps are all set. This is how it should look like. Let the glue dry for about 24 hours. Once the glue has dried, take off the clamps and sand off any dried on glue. For the finish, I'm using Osmo Poly Oil. It's made in Germany. Mix it thoroughly. Apply a thin and even layer. As soon as you apply the finish, you can see the beauty of the wood coming through. Always make sure to take off any excess finish. Let it dry for about 8 to 10 hours and then add a second coat. If the wood feels rough after your first coat, you can sand down the piece with 600 grit sandpaper. Then it's time to apply the second coat. It is a very satisfying feeling to see the wood suck in the finish. Take off any excess finish. Let the piece dry for an additional 10 hours. And we are fertig! This is how the table looks like on top of my ottoman. How do you like the table? Please leave me a comment. The surface feels super silky. Seems like even the puppies want to check out the finished product. While I will be putting this bench over my ottoman, it's sturdy enough to sit on. Thank you for watching. Tschüss! If you liked the video, please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up.